Welcome to This Week in Wimberley. I'm Chris Daly. I will be joined shortly by Mr. Z, Gary Zupancic. Uh, this is a show where we talk about what's going on in and around the Wimberley Valley, all the fun stuff. We will get to that in just a moment. But first, quick message from some people who made this show possible. Premier Cuts has locations in San Marcos and Kyle, and man, they are the absolute best. I can say this for a fact because I have been getting my hair cut there for well over a decade. And if I do say so myself, I think it looks really nice. <laughs> they have some great specials. Wednesday, $14 men and boys haircuts, and Tuesday, $16 women and girl haircuts. Both of those are $5 off the regular price. They also have the amazing airplane chair. If you have a kid who is getting his or her hair cut, sitting in the airplane chair will keep them distracted, keep them entertained, so the stylist can get their work done. The San Marcos location is on Aquarina Springs, and the Kyle location is just to the right of the HEB+. Again, that's Premier Cuts in Kyle and San Marcos. Looking for a one-stop shop for all your indoor, outdoor, garden, and ranch needs? Look no further than King Feed and Hardware. Our customers rave about our old general store vibe and the unique eclectic mix of products you won't find anywhere else. Whether you need tools for the garden, supplies for your pets, equipment for your livestock or construction business, or just something for your home, we've got you covered. Plus, don't miss our destination nursery and garden center with a constantly changing inventory of plants, trees, vegetables, yard art, and outdoor furniture. Bring the family and visit our animal residence or pick up toys, games, and books for the kids. Come see us in Wimberley, Texas and discover what makes King Feed and Hardware the ultimate shopping destination. Everybody join me in welcoming Mr. Z himself, Gary Zupancic, to the show. Gary, how are things going for you? Oh, they're going pretty well. Uh, I guess we've got a cold snap coming up, but this week's been really, really busy. It's been spring break, and usually in Wembley, spring break is very busy. So uh, yeah. lots, of, lots of stuff uh, is going on. Um, really, the, the big thing that pe- the locals are talking about is that, uh, I guess, you know, we have been trained uh, when you're walking around the square to mm-hmm. throw, use the crosswalks, and I guess a lot of people are using the crosswalks, and oh, it's causing a lot of confusion and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, um, there's, you know, there's, there's lots of places to cross, and I think they're all brick or whatever. They're, I know they're different. And, uh, you know, if you wait there, people have to, have to stop for you. That's the whole yeah. thing. Cars have to stop for you, so just, you know, hey, use the proper crosswalks and everything will be cool. Definitely. <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, uh, Wimberley, the city of Wimberley is going to have a transportation town hall, uh, 5 p.m. on Monday, March 27th, because of all the little problems like that. You know, I mean, just, right, everybody right. has to go around the square, and, you know, uh, it's hard for anybody to move anywhere here. So uh, I'm definitely going to that. Um, nice, nice. Yeah. Now, next weekend, Saturday, March 25th, uh, the Patsy Glenn Refuge of the uh, the dedication of Enhanced Wetlands at the Patsy Glenn Refuge, which is located really, I guess, next to Brookshire Brothers, and it's in behind the community center. So, and, wow. and that's, uh, yeah, that's like on the birding, uh, it's on the birding trail and all that. Yeah. With, a, with another other uh, parks and, uh, yeah, if you go back there, you might even see like golden thread, uh, throated warbler. So there's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of really cool birds around here that are colorful. And you know, hey, Patrick Glen uh, Refuge is a great, great place. Uh, oh, it really oh. is. I I I went back there. Uh, gosh, it's been a while now, and was just surprised at how amazing it is. It's just hidden back there, and uh, you know, it's a gem. Yeah, uh, you would have no idea it was there. Unless yeah. you get out of your car and walk, you know, because it's really just, geez, I don't know what, a uh, hundred feet <laughs> from yeah. the uh, tower. So, oh, uh, Mima's Tacos closed, but then they reopened again as Mima's Kitchen. And here's what the story yeah. on that is. Uh, the Sausnetas, a couple that opened it up and have been married for, I don't know, 60 some years, uh, they finally retired. And right. so now the sun is taking over. So it's still in the, still in the hands of Sosetas, 
Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the old recipes are going to be there. Uh, probably a couple of new ones, but you know, uh, Mima's is still in town. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. But I, I had heard it was it, it was Mima's kitchen. It was becoming Mima's tacos. Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. I because they were they were out switching back and forth there for a while. <laughs> right. It, they really would the, the names because they had opened up a Mima's kitchen uh, up by uh, the junction. They were up by the yeah. junction, and it and it, it didn't make it. And of course, you know, I would think a restaurant out there w would be a hard thing, anyways. But you know, right. Uh, so, um, Texan soccer celebrates their seniors with a win, which is really good. And the uh, baseball season begins district district and such to play tourney. Of course, this is mm -hmm. spring break, so everybody's away. Sports is away from that, but uh, we'll be getting into it when when they get back. You know. Now, a big thing is Friday is St. Patrick's Day. And there's many fine establishments around the valley where you can celebrate in style. Middleton's, Rough House Brewery, Chills, and others will provide a festive, festive atmosphere for the celebration of St. Patty, <laughs> Irish culture, and all things Irish. In fact, one in four U.S. adults have Irish ancestors or relatives. That's 25.75% of the adult population of the USA, equating to over 52 million people. So, Happy St. Patrick's Day, and please do it responsibly. Yeah, yeah, I, I think there's going to be a lot of green beer. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and everybody be wearing green and the whole bit. So, yeah, you know, there's numerous establishments and taverns that will uh, accommodate your needs. How's that? Um, Hill Country Band is uh, going to present its concert uh, from Opera to Broadway, April 8th, 4 p.m. at the Wembley Community Center. Uh, and don't forget the Wimberley Valley Museum, located at 18, in the 1857 Winters Wimberley House, is open for visitors every Friday afternoon from 1 to 4, and the fir first weekend of each month. And if you send them an email, they will open up for you per personally. I know that for a fact. So their uh, their email is Wimberley Valley Museum, all one word, and Wimberley, remember, has L-E-Y at the end. Uh, Wimberley Valley Museum at wimwick.org. And uh, Wimwick nice. stands for Wimberley, Wimberley Institute of Cultures. Yeah, and they're going to have a, uh, a a meeting on March 20th, Monday, uh, at 5.30 p.m. talk about uh, the history of Wimberley and people that founded it. So, And don't forget, uh, the Farmers and Artisan, Artisan Market is Thursday. Uh, in front mm -hmm. of the Baptist Church, right there in front of uh, Wonders Mill and uh, Range, uh, Ranch Road 12. There's bingo going on every Friday night. Early bird starts at uh, 7 and regular games at 8. So uh, if you really want more information, visit vfw6441.com slash bingo. Right. And, uh, a lot of, you know, we got a lot of music coming up Uh yeah, well, before you get in music, let me let me uh, mention that uh, the Emily Ann Theater and Gardens is coming on board as a new uh, advertiser. Ooh. And uh, yeah, I know. And uh -huh. and uh, they're such an amazing place. If you could, Gary, talk about uh, what you know about them because I between raising the kids there and taking to the, all their things, there's so many great events throughout the year. Oh yes, there is, and, and really. Uh, I was really hoping to save that on Butterfly Day, but yeah, they, uh, they're amazing. They're really, really, uh, good friends of mine, Norm and, uh, Ann Rawlings, mm -hmm. uh, have known them for, let's see, I've been living here 27 years. I know them 26 years because mm -hmm. Emily Ann started, I started getting involved with them and taking my journalism students down there and we, we put some scrapbooks together and Ann and I always share, share the stories about Never give teenagers glitter. <laughs> because, because I think I still find some in my closet. You know, nice. she, she was she was actually you know all grand, grandmotherly and all that, and the kids, you know, we're, we're doing crafts and stuff, and it was like, no, no, not glitter. <laughs> so, but yeah, in the past twenty seven years, they have just grown so well. Uh, you know, they made it through COVID. Uh, there's lots of stuff going on there. Yeah. They always have, you know, they have like recitals even, and of course they have plays, and yeah. you know, uh, they just built the brand new performance building, which is just it's phenomenal. I mean, it's it's, it's intimate, you know, but still yeah. really really good acoustics. 
So yeah, uh, it, I can't say anything more about them because they're just so much. I love them. Two wonderful people that I really do love. How's that? Yeah, that's perfect. You you mentioned the Butterfly Festival. From what I understand, they're uh, giving away the the caterpillars this weekend. So oh, uh, oh. that's in preparation. Yeah. Yeah, I totally. I mean, okay, I, I'm a little bit out of the loop. So yes, that is true. And if you would have liked to adapt some butterflies, they give them to you in little cages, and yep. you raise them through the chrysalis. And uh, when they're ready to go, uh, you bring them back, and they release them at uh, timed uh, events uh, during Butterfly Day. I mean, it's yeah, Butterfly Day is so cool. It really oh, is. it's it's amazing. <laughs> it really is. I agree. Cool. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, no, no. There, but, uh, no, I'm, yeah. I'm glad you, I'm really, really glad you did. That's really good news. That really, really yeah. is great news, you know. Um, oh, so tonight, music, uh, Friday, 5 p.m., Tony Eroldi at Ghost Note Brewery, uh, Guitara at Silo Glass, uh, Alex Jones at Middleton Brewery, the last two are 6 p.m., 6.30, Marvin, Laura, Batera at Fish Tales are all friends. Uh, Josh Field Duo at Savages at 8 and at 8.30. Johnny McGowan's Gents at Ghost Notes. Uh, Saturday, Guitarista Kelly at Wimberley Inn and Bar at 10 a.m. Uh, 1 p.m. is Sophia Johnson Duo at Rough House. Uh, 3 p.m. Here's a biggie. Chris, Tony Price at Devil's Backbone. Oh, nice. Uh, th- also 3 p.m. Chris Quave's Project at Ghost Notes. Uh, 5 p.m. Montana Sand at Rough House. Uh, Suede at Hay City Store, Michael James at Middleton Brewery at 6, uh, Season trio, trio Amos at 6 p.m., 6.30, we have Maxwell Pearl at Chills on the Creek, 7, Ramble Woods at Savages, 8, uh, Baba Pellet Mercer, uh, 1 p.m., Jesse Leach at, uh, oh, this is Sunday, yeah, uh, Jesse Ledge and Bosco stop at Devil's Back Window at Bosco stop got me. <laughs> 2 p.m. Uh, Chuck Shaw at Middleton Brewery. Uh, 3 p.m. Three Chord Rodeo at Mercer Dance Hall. 4 p.m. Chuck Ziegler and Cold Snap at Ghost Note. And at 6, it's 5 o'clock somewhere at Hayes City Store. Now, since it's spring break, I'm going to go all the way to Wednesday. Monday mm-hmm. at Monday at 10.15 a.m., Jeff Plankenhorn and Michael O'Connor at KVWH, uh, the Fishbowl. Patio. Yeah. Uh, they'll turn the they'll turn the mics up and hey, you can dance on the patio in the morning. Uh, <laughs> w. C. Clark will be at the Hay City Store at, at six p.m. He's always a great show. Uh, six p.m. River Mountain Green at Savage, Savages. Tuesday, ten fifteen. Elizabeth Lee and Martin Hawk at KVWH Fishbowl Patio. Uh, four four p.m. Dale Watson Hay City Store. And uh, 6 p.m. Marvel Batera. I mean, we got some big names here. Uh, yeah. 10:15, Patrice Pike at, at the Fishbowl Patio, and uh, 6:30, Song Circle at Savages. Mm. A lot of music going on. A lot of music. Uh, today's uh, guest artist for us is named uh, Chris Alcarez, and mm-hmm. he's a pretty amazing person. Um, if you ever go to his website, I think it's Chris Alcarez, A L C A R A Z. He's got videos on there that if you're playing a double bass, how to get on top of them and play it like a, for a Rick Rockabilly group. <laughs> he's got a couple on there. It's like, wow, that's really cool. And he's sort of a, a, an outstanding individual himself. Uh, him and his group uh, have toured Europe all over the place, uh, the United States. Et cetera, et cetera. And they, he, they finally settled down in Austin. They work out of South Austin. And mm-hmm. uh, he's been able to play with uh, Flacco Jimenez, Delbert McClinton, Joe King Carrasco, Augie Myers. And uh, he's been the bassist, the vocalist, and musical director for Durawa. The group naturally features two Grammy winning drummers, or drummer, mm-hmm. Ernie Zawarwa, and uh, guitar virtu- virtuoso Will Owen Gage. Um, the album that this is uh, taken off of will be out later in spring. I think this, mm-hmm. yeah, this is a this is a promo copy here. Uh, the album was recorded live. The album guest list include Brian Mitchell from Levon Helm, Floyd mm-hmm. Domino from Merle Haggard, and Sleep at the Will, Chris Gage from Jerry Jeff Walker, and Red Young 
Eric Burden, Linda Ratzett, and Joan Armitrade. Man. So really, you know, this sort of harkens back to the 60s about peace, love, mm-hmm. and togetherness. And really, you know, what a time. This is, this is a good time to hear those types of songs, you know. And so the name of the uh, song is One Human Race. And that's basically what it's about, you know. Uh, recognize that everybody is your brother and, you know, to like treat them kindly, you know. Cool. Well, so here, give it a play. All right. Here it is. Excellent stuff, as usual. You just keep coming up with some great ones. Uh, and also, the uh, uh, nonprofit is the St. Mary's Knights of Columbus. Uh, every Friday night during Lent, they uh, have a fish fry. 
and really, this this is really big in Wimberley. It's five to seven, and they sell out. They really do. The entire town shows up. Um, in fact, you know, we let our neighbors know when it's going to happen, and they really do get excited. And, you know, they had to go. And, in fact, last year they were uh, $15 a serving. This year they cut it back to 12 And it's, you know, it's endless. I mean, you can go back and they get more hush puppies and catfish, and, and it's really excellent. So, you know, it's five to seven and uh until they run out and really it's it's one of the big fundraisers uh that St. Mary's uh Knights of Columbus have they have a big one called uh Hunter's Night Out where they raffle off guns and uh this the fish fry uh is that, that exactly goes into help the luncheon for the second annual Wimberley Valley Emergency Responders Appreciation Luncheon that they give to all the first responders in the area so um, nice, and, re- and really, they're, they're if not the largest, they are the largest, second largest backer of nonprofits giving grants and you know uh, scholarships to the community. Um, really, I mean, if you ever see all the organizations, I, they've probably given you know uh, thousands half, half half million of dollars away in mm-hmm. the past years to uh, you know Christ and Bread Basket, Barnabas Connection, and scholarships. You know, so hey. They're a good group, nice. and if you get if you if you get a chance before March 26th, uh, go on down there Sunday at the parish hall, and they'll be serving it up for twelve bucks. Sounds good. Yeah, you mentioned the fish fry. That, that's for Lent, you know. And, right. Uh, but I I have to tell you, I, I decided what I'm giving up for Lent is negativity, but I doubt it'll last. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you got to keep trying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have many Lent jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, Gary. Uh, as usual, um, great music, great nonprofit, uh, and some great action going on in the city. Some great music, sports, you name it. Such, such hey. a fun time in this city. Well, it is. It is a rather uh, promising community, however, put it that way. Well, you try to stay warm and. Uh, well, yeah, I guess really. we'll connect back next week. All righty. Chris, you have a good week. Are you a business owner with little time to spare? Don't have enough time to do social media marketing well? You don't have to let it fall by the wayside. Let Fresh Media Works create and post engaging content on your behalf. With prices starting at just $75 a month, our services make you look great without breaking the bank. Text social to 713-269-4620 and let us handle it. As always, I want to thank Brother Gary for sitting down with me. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for giving us what I consider the most important and valuable gift you can give, and that is your time and your attention. Go out there and participate in your city. Participate in all the great events going on in the city. And tell us about it on your Facebook groups, on your Twitter, anywhere you have friends, share it out.